Hey legends, this tutorial is going to show you how to set up the wedge measuring tool within Ultimate Golf Caddy. So the wedge measuring tool will allow you to measure the shot distance for any wedge, rough iron or sand wedge when you're playing in the game. This feature is such a massive game changer so you're really going to want to understand it and make sure you watch this tutorial to get the proper approach to set up your ruler. So what we need to do to get the ruler to work is to calibrate it for our screen. So the ruler will be dependent on everyone's own screen. So you need to calibrate it first before you're able to use it. Calibration is nice and easy, but what we're gonna do is use a trophy ball to calibrate. We want to go into the app and select the club that we are going to use to calibrate the measuring tool. Now I'm going to do it with Hive, but it's a good idea to use a club with a longer distance because it cuts down on the measuring error. So you might want to do it with something like a gearhead or a voodoo, but for the purposes of this video I'm just going to do it with a Hive and show you how it works. You can still do it with Hive, that's not going to cause any issues. However, when you get right to the max range for some of your longer distance uh, rough irons, then it may be slightly out, within a couple of percent, but it still might be out. So if you're looking for that precision, use one of the longer clubs. So we're going to change to our Hive in the app, which if you haven't looked at the setup tutorial, go ahead and do that first. The next thing we want to do is click on our settings menu by clicking the three dots in the bottom right. Then you'll see the calibration menu from the third down in that list. This time what we want to calibrate is the wedges range. So if we go ahead and click on that, you'll see that that's going to bring up a calibration screen. Now just before we go ahead and calibrate, what I'm going to do is close that for a second and get myself to max wedge. This bit is really important because you need to make sure that you are doing this when you set the calibrator up. Zoom out all the way to max zoom. So pinch your screen, get it all the way out to max zoom so that there's no more zooming that can be done. And then you want to line the ball guide horizontally across your screen. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll go back into the calibrator. We'll hit the wedges range. Now the next thing you need to do is line the tip of the triangle at the bottom of your avatar up with the edge of the black line on your screen. So I go ahead and line that up. Now what I need to do is click and hold on the black bar on the left hand side of the calibrator and drag that all the way across until I get to the bullseye for my target which is my max hive range. So if I click and hold on that and drag it across you'll see that a white bar comes up showing you how far you've dragged. We get it to the center point on our bullseye. That's probably not quite enough, so we'll try again. That looks good now. So the white bar will stay there so you can double check that you've got the right distance. Once we're happy with that, we go ahead and click OK. And that is now calibrated. So I'll give you another example. If I change to say, a, I'm looking for a shorter distance uh, wedge, let's go with Atlas. If I change to Atlas, um, actually we'll go Zeus, we'll go longer range. Okay, so we change to Zeus and we go ahead and change in the app to Zeus, the app now knows 
that we're using Zeus and it's automatically readjusted the distance for that club. So now if I wanna go and check how far the max distance is for my Zeus, I can click on the screen, you'll see the bar pop up and now that's at max range for that new club. So that's gonna work for every wedge, rough iron and sand wedge. So you can always get a really accurate measure for any of those clubs. If I pull it back, let's pretend that my shot distance is here. I can then hit on the black bar and drag it out to my bullseye again. And you'll see that in the calculator screen, my shot distance has now updated to 58%. So it's measuring for me exactly how far my wedge is. So there we go, 39%. So you're always gonna get a really accurate measure on all of those clubs. And then the algorithm does the rest. So you just input your wind and it will tell you how far you need to adjust your shot. One thing to be really careful with, I've made this mistake myself a couple of times, but within the drag function to do your measuring, you've got the option for it to be a top spin or front spin or a back spin shot. The way to do that, the way to select the right method, when you click on the black bar, you'll see that if I bring my finger up or down, it's going to change between front and back spin. So if I've got a backspin shot, I make sure I drag down the screen and then slide out to do my measuring. If I've got a top spin shot, I do the same. I just drag up and then I can drag out. There's The algorithm uses different numbers for the backspin or the top spin approach. So you need to be really careful with that. Otherwise, you're going to get the wrong value. So make sure that you correctly select whether it's backspin or topspin. All right, so that's it. Um, as I said, make sure that you use a longer range club, calibrate your distance, and then you can set it up with any of your uh, rough wedge or sand wedges. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna play a shot so that you can see how it works. Uh, and then you guys will be good to go. This thing's gonna change your game it saved me so many times. If I accidentally get a needle glitch or catch a rough on a drive and I've got a long range voodoo or a phoenix to hit, you know, the amount of times that I get that correct value from the app is such a game changer. It's gonna save you hitting replay. It's gonna be a lot of fun to use and you can test out a lot of different clubs with it. So let's go ahead and have a look at that now. Okay, so I've got myself into a fairly long range hive shot here, just so I can show you how it works. There's a little bit of downhill in play here, so I'm probably 50-50 of making this shot, but you're gonna see how close it will get you, uh, and then you guys can play around with it, understanding how the secondary wind affects each of these shots. So we just go ahead and set up our shot. As I said, there's a bit of downhill roll, so I'm probably gonna get a little bit of run out. However, I've got a pretty strong headwind. So I'm going to set it up a little bit past the cup. Okay, so that's gonna fall back on itself. That looks pretty good. Now we've got a little bit of angular wind here. So I'm going to Pull it off to the side just a little bit. Let's have another look. Yep, that looks pretty good. I might, might miss a little bit to the side, but that's okay. So I've set up my shot, and now I'm gonna go and measure the distance and get my adjustment value. So much like when you calibrate, you set your ball guide up so that it's horizontal across your screen. I like to, uh, before I take the shot, I like to input my wind value. However, you can do it either way. You can do your measuring first and then put your wind value in, or you can put your wind value in first 
and then we can do our measuring. Now, I've got a full backspin shot, so I need to make sure that I use the backspin method in this, uh, in this case. So I'm gonna hit the backspin, pull my slider down and out. So that looks like pretty much the right spot. Okay, so I'm at 49% distance. The app is telling me that I've got a 2.8 ring adjust. So I'm going to go ahead and make that adjustment. Now, as with the standard club pull methodology, we still want to pull through the center unless we've got less than two, two rings. So that looks really close to 2.8. That looks good. Pull through the center. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's see how close we get. It looks pretty good. All right, so there you go. Nice and easy to use. It's gonna get you guys so many more drops. This, this feature I am super excited about. Um, it's going to be fun to play around with. You know, you can go and blast a shot, not be worried about putting it into the rough because you're still probably going to drop it. So that's, that's it, guys. That's how it works. Um, if you've got any questions, jump on the Facebook page. But I think this one's pretty straightforward. Once you've got it set up, it'll work perfectly. It's set then every time you open the app, so you don't need to recalibrate. Go and get some drops, guys. Have some fun with it. And I can't wait to hear your feedback on this one because this is my favorite feature. All right, good luck, guys. Cheers.